Hi everyone, Kimberly Mackey here with New Home Solutions. Normally, our program for solutions is for me to bring you some training tips uh, for our first uh, vlog of the month, and then we have a guest vlogger. But uh, this month you get the bonus program and you get me both times. Next month we'll be back on our regular schedule. Uh, what I thought that I would bring to you today is to talk to you about Parade of Homes traffic. I know for many of you it's time for the Spring Parade, which is always one of the best programs that we do through our Home Builders Association, where all of us get together and we do drive and market our homes. Uh, we get to have a lot of people come out and take a look at them. And depending on where you are, uh, your traffic could be uh, phenomenal. I know I'm working with a builder in the uh, Minnesota, uh, Minneapolis market, and their, their parade is a huge big deal. I mean, it's where they get a lot of their leads that they're working for the entire year and they get a lot of really serious buyers. And then for some of us, the parade of homes is that time when as on-site sales, we go, oh, we're gonna get all those looky-loos again. And I don't wanna deal with these looky-loos. They're just coming in and they're taking up my time. I wanna encourage you to have a little bit of an attitude adjustment about those. So yes, you are gonna get some people who just enjoy going to the Parade of Homes and seeing what's new and what's exciting and what's happening in their market. But I would encourage you to look at these people as a challenge, look at them as an opportunity instead. And I hope that you will accept the challenge that I'm going to uh, lay down for you here. So even though they're a looky-loo now, there's something going on in their world or they wouldn't be out looking at new homes. I promise you, they're thinking of remodeling. They're thinking of decorating ideas. They may be thinking of moving, but they just don't know if they can. And they don't want to engage with you, that scary salesperson. So the best thing you can do when those people come through your door and go up, oh, we're just looking, we are here for the parade of homes, don't bother trying to sell us a home, is just say, wow, thanks for coming out. You're about the third couple that I've had in today. Uh, or the fifth couple or the 10th couple that I've had in today to come by and see us and we're just so excited to have you here. Say, tell me a little bit about where you've been so far. What, what else have you seen in the parade? Reach out to them as people. Don't let them being standoffish cause you to actually be standoffish. Remember, even though we like to think that we're the ones with the scripts in new home sales, our buyers have scripts too and our prospects have scripts. And this is the same as the just looking buyer. So don't push them. Don't try to find out what they're looking for or even what's wrong in their world. Just talk to them as if they're your neighbors who are dropping by. Treat them as guests and then ask them questions like, what else have you seen? Did you find anything cool and trendy out there? You know, I don't always get the opportunity to get out and, and go visit a lot of my, uh, of my competitors or uh, go see some of the other communities. So tell me, what, what are you finding? Be genuinely curious and excited about that. Find out something that you have in common with them. Maybe they're wearing logoed apparel so you can bond over a sports team or find out where they're from originally, which is always one of my favorite questions to ask people because you'll get their life story. Surely somewhere in there, you'll find something that you have in common. That's really the goal. It's just to connect with them as people. Um, you know, where do they live now? You know, how familiar are they with your area? Can you point them in the direction of maybe some other model homes? I know that seems counterintuitive and you're going, why would I send them to my competitors? Remember, you're not trying to sell these people a home. You are simply trying to make a good impression, make a connection so that when they are ready, they're going to think of you and they're going to think of the way that you treated them. So ask those questions about where they live now. Ask what's going on in their world and don't ask them what they're looking for. After you have toured the home with them or let them tour the home on their own, if that's more comfortable, uh, then ask them if they wouldn't mind just filling out a little bit of information for you that you're not trying to set them up on any registration or call list, but you're simply trying to track how many guests come in so that you can give good feedback about the parade and let the parade organizers know how much traffic you've had and where the people are coming from. 
I bet you'll get a much better response. You're going to get people who are going to fill out that registration form and you might be able to then reach out to them, thank them for coming by, send your card, you know, send those old snail mails or send a video email if you're going to send a video or, or a video text message so that you make a good impression. And when they are in the market for a home or when their friends and family are in the market for a home, they'll remember you. Thanks again. I hope that you will accept this challenge. Let me know how it goes for you. And until then, have a fabulous parade and a wonderful spring selling season, despite what's going on out there in the world. Thank you.